Hi, let's look at course information. Um, here's how to contact the help desk. You're going to want to look at that information, make note of it somewhere offline. Often when you want to contact the help desk, you can't get into D2L because there's a problem. So make note of that for offline use. Course calendar takes you to a Google calendar with our course dates. You'll want to bookmark that. Let's look briefly at the syllabus. There's a lot of information here, and I want you to read this carefully. This is meant to be the fourth in the series of five classes with the practicum coming after this course. You can take them out of order, but this is the recommended order for collaborative communities to be the fourth just before the practicum. Um, E-textbook we have available. It's a new system. So hopefully it works for you. If not, we have e-textbook help that we can contact for you. Um, you can read through the course objectives and the course outline. All right, instructor communication. Very important you read the course news. Stay up to date on the discussions in this course and always read your university email. You can have it forwarded to your personal email if you need help with that. Um, contact the intern or myself or the help desk and there's some information on how grading is done and some information on how we do assessment in this course. The most important thing to know about this course is it's meant to be a mastery course. You are meant to keep working on things until you master them and we are not as worried about points or grades or grade numbers or letters. What we're really interested in is how well you are doing with the skills in the course and we rate you as proficient, proficient plus exemplary. Just to be noted, exemplary is very hard to attain. It means you've done something above and beyond the expectations of the course. You are creating an e-portfolio during the course and there's a long discussion here about the importance of discussion participation what it means to make an original response, what it means to reply to a colleague, look through all of that, as well as read carefully the late policy. There are some pretty heavy expectations for participation in this course because it's meant to prepare you to be an online instructor. And to be an online instructor, you have to be prepared to be online five to seven days a week. So we have some high expectations for your participation in the class. So do see the late policy about that. There's some other information that's required by the university. Let's go back now and go to a different part of course information. Um, don't hesitate also to note my, my faculty contact information for offline use as well. Um, under this link in course information, rubrics, grading, evaluation, late policy, there's more about the expectations of the course, the philosophy about how it's graded, um, a little graphic there for you about it, <clears throat> what each of the levels means, basic, partly proficient, proficient, proficient plus, and exemplary. The basic rubric for discussions is here. You'll want to make note of that. It includes some things about when you cite sources and academic honesty as far as that. And the expectations for participation are spelled out here. Um, exemplary level would be four or more separate days per week participating in the discussions. Here's our philosophy. We're going to be using an Excel document to give you your comments each week. So take a look at this, but really that'll make more sense after module one is over and we've entered grades and comments for you in the Excel sheet. The great thing about the Excel sheet is all your comments for the entire course are in one place. So when you're revising your ePortfolio, that makes it very handy. And here's some examples of ePortfolios and again, the policy on late work. I hope this has been helpful so that I, I, I didn't read it all to you. I didn't explain it all to you. I want you to go through and read it, but this kind of gave you the highlights of what's important. Don't hesitate to ask questions, please.